in the address bar of your Chrome browser, if you type Chrome, colon, two forward slashes, and then type the word flags, and then press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, there are three parameters that you have to change to enable tab UI. So you need touch UI layout, web UI tab strip, and scrollable tab strip. So if we set all of these to enabled, if these are not at the top of your list, by the way, of your available uh, flag parameters to change, if you search for them in the search bar and you will find them available. Okay, so if we enable touch UI layout, and if we enable web UI strip, and finally scrollable tab strip. And please remember that if you make any changes to Chrome flags or any changes to Chrome settings, your browser must be relaunched. So we will click relaunch at the bottom right of the screen. This will relaunch Chrome browser. So you can see the top part of the Chrome browser window looks slightly different. If you scroll over to the top right of your Chrome browser, and click on the number there that's shown, that's how many tabs you currently have open. So click on that number. And then you can see this has enabled UI strip, the tab strip. So what we can do now is if we click plus, you can see the tab strip has disappeared and we have a number two in our browser. So this is the second tab that we've opened. All we need to do is to select a website to visit. And then if we click the number again, this will show us the tab strip window. And as you can see, it does take up quite a lot of the uh, area at the top of your browser. So it does push down your browser viewing experience. But as soon as you click on your browser, that disappears. So to enable a tab UI strip again, if you just click on the number, and you can see the tab UI strip has once again become available. Bye bye.